This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. This is an intro. Don't need to intro. I don't need intro. This is just a fake show. It's just a fake show. Fake show. Fake show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, own boy Josh, back at you with a look at the Arcus. But before we get into this new offering from Vape Only, I do want to take the time to remind you that we all have a part to play in the fight against Big Pharma, Big Tobacco, the FDA, and the deeming regulations that are looming over our heads. That means if you're a shop or a shop owner, take the time to remind your customers that it's their fight too. They need to get involved if they want to keep vaping. If you're on social media, paint the best possible image of the vape community that you can. You follow all of Casas calls to action, including that to support H.R. 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment. We've made a lot of headway. We've already filed a big lawsuit against the FDA and a lot of big players in on that lawsuit, guys. But it's not time to rest on our laurels. If anything, it means it's time to go harder than ever before. The Arcus comes to us from Vape Only. Vape Only's products arrive in very Apple-esque packaging. You have the depiction of the device on the front against this white background, and on the back of the box, it just says the words Vape Only and nothing else. This is basically an ego pen. It's very stylish, it's very tiny, and that's what they seem to major in. Being a starter kit, the Arcus comes with a very, very detailed manual. It goes into gross detail. You also get a charging cable, and the device comes clad in this very opaque sheath. That's what they seem to have mastered, is making the most stylish looking starter kits that I've ever seen. It's so simple and pretty looking. The Arcus is a very elegant device. Metal body, it has a fire button with a figure eight on it. The drip tip it comes with is glass, which is kind of unusual for a starter kit. I can't say I've seen that before in a starter kit, like a nice glass drip tip, and it is a really nice, comfortable glass drip tip. But it's not a standard 510 connection, so you can't use this tank with anything else. You can't use this mod with anything else. Airflow is at the bottom of the tank, and the tank has this really interesting hourglass kind of shape to the chimney. And what's really cool, and it's not going to show up incredibly well on camera unless I refill Maybe I'll refill it a little bit real quick. And I'm not even sure what juice I originally put in here, which is kind of the thing. It doesn't have the best flavor. The flavor from one juice to another is not really recognizable here. So it doesn't matter to me so much what juice I put in here, to be honest with you. What are you doing? Pouring one juice on top of another? You can't do that. That's just going to completely warp the flavor. It's like a whole new juice. It's like you're combining two juices. That doesn't make any sense. Why would you do that? Even for a starter kit, even for a novice sort of device, it could have better flavor if you ask me. Because I can't tell what juice that is. That's the thing. I can't tell the flavor here. It's just not recognizable. It's Earl. He put Earl in there. He just doesn't want to admit it. He doesn't want to admit that he wasted his one of his favorite juices on this tank, this device, and he can't even taste the juice. Dude, get over it. Just let it go. So you wasted a little bit of Earl. It's okay. You can get more. It's all right. Let it go. It doesn't taste like anything, to be honest with you. It tastes like air. If you ask me, a lot of that has to do with the coil head. The coil head on this thing is super, super tiny. The Arcus comes with a 1 ohm coil head and a 1.5 ohm coil head. The wicking on these coil heads though is so, so tiny. It's like a little pinhole for wicking. And there's not a whole lot of airflow to the coil head either. So, I mean, I get it. It's for a new vapor. It's not supposed to have tons and tons of airflow in there, but the wicking is what really concerns me. It feels like there's not enough wicking on this coil head for it to get enough juice to the coil to provide a proper vape with a decent amount of flavor. It's a shame because so much else about it is really interesting. I actually really like the hourglass shape to the chimney. It looks like it's discolored, the juice, but it's not. What it is, it's just the way that that hourglass disperses the juice, it changes the color inside. The one redeeming feature of the Arcus, if you ask me, has to be in its aesthetic. The aesthetic of the Arcus is through and through just a gorgeous, elegant design. If only it vaped as well as it looked. And those looks extend not just to the outward appearance of the device, but it goes so far as to the way it manipulates the way the juice looks within the chamber and the way that's filled in a really different kind of way. It has these sort of slits cut into the top of the funnel, which flow outward over the bottom half of this hourglass shape. A really unique fill mechanism, and I, I can't decide if I'm a huge fan of it or if I feel like a, just a regular old chimney would perform just as well. 
But I can't deny that the way that it colors the juice around this sort of funnel hourglass shape is just so fucking cool. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. And the vapor production is good, and the pull is great, I suppose, for a new vapor. It's sort of a mouth-to-lung style hit. It's airy enough to be a lung hit if you really want it to be. But mainly it's mouth to lung. The problem is the flavor. There's just not enough of it. There's almost nothing in terms of flavor here. I guess maybe for the newbie who's just coming off of cigarettes. that just wants to feel the action of, you know, puffing at something that could help them. But if you want to see more new starter kits and more new vapors out there, remember, do your part, support the Cole Bishop Amendment, support HR 2058. It's nothing I would ever use like, more than once because there's no flavor. No flavor here. I can't stress that enough. There's zero flavor. Take something like the Andorra. The Andorra is, you know, a mouth to lung hit, but it has excellent flavor. Take something like the Nautilus X. The Nautilus X is a mouth to lung hit, but it has excellent flavor. This has no flavor. It just completely warps the flavor of the juice until it's unrecognizable. It doesn't make sense. I think maybe it's the cotton that they're using. Maybe it's the lack of wicking holes. I don't know. That's the thing. It's beautiful packaging. It's a beautiful looking device, but when you get right down to it, it doesn't perform anything close to what I would want to see in a vape. Anyway guys, till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on vapors.